Welcome guys, Marper Kaff here and today we are starting something new called Just the Tip and it will be a new series of very short videos, I think under 5 minutes I hope under 5 minutes that will explain how I do just a particular single detail in my workflow with the tools I use that makes my work a lot less time consuming easier, faster and uh, respectively a bit more productive and today I'm going to show you how I use the brush modifiers to control the thickness of my curves inside ZBrush with the curve brushes. So let's jump right into it, we don't have a lot of time. We'll go to Sphere 3D, and we're gonna make a poly mesh 3D, and I'm gonna give it some geometry levels, and I'm going to delete lower subdivisions. So now let's go and grab any curve brush we want. For this, I will use the stretch map which is BCJ you can use any one you, you want and let's give it a bit of a draw size let's say 250 and draw a curve now as you can see the curve has a width and it has thickness and if we go to draw size of 50 and draw the curve will be less it will be thinner but it also will have smaller width now what we want to do is we're going to use the same as before 250 draw size we want this this width of the curve but with less thickness so what we're going to do is we're going to go to brush and let me dock the brush here and we're going to go to modifiers and in the modifiers there is the strength modifier that by default is set to 1 what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to 0 point let's say 3 and I'm going to draw the curve with the same draw size like this and as you can see we have the same width with a lot less thickness in it it's a lot thinner and now if I go something something very high like 5 and I draw the curve as you can see it is now ridiculously thick now, have in mind, it doesn't affect the the divisions and the levels of the polygons that it that the curves have that curves that the curve has. It just affects the thickness in it. So let's go back to one and let's draw one more. And there you go. And once again, we have the same thickness. And that's it how you control the curve thickness using the brush modifiers. Okay, so see you next time.